Welcome back to the Waterboard channel and welcome to the new playlist of a series of videos about myths in soft water. So let's take a look at the first one which is that you can't use softened water in the boiler what has an aluminium heat exchanger. First water softeners were invented in the early 1900s and to be honest the technology hasn't changed much since. Hard water contains an uh, unusual high amount of minerals such as calcium and magnesium. When hard water passes through a water softener the calcium and magnesium ions are exchanged with sodium so the alkalinity stays the same, the pH is the same. Naturally, soft water contains very little of these dissolved ions, so the pH is really low. This makes naturally soft water very corrosive to metals. So for nearly 100 years, we were quite happy to fill our heating systems with softened water. But then the inhibitor companies came along and they started suggesting that this soft water was corrosive to the heating systems. This in turn made the boiler manufacturers a little bit twitchy so they started a legislation to say that you couldn't use softened water in a heating system. The good news is that in 2011 the BSI corrosion investigation took place and it was busted and the BSI along with Harvey Bowden from Harvey Water Softeners presented all this information to Westminster and the legislation was changed. Present at Westminster at that time was the inhibitor manufacturers, the water softening manufacturers and also the boiler manufacturers. So why don't we take a look at that video of Harvey presenting it to Westminster. Right, well today's the day. We're off to the Houses of Westminster, to the House of Commons, to announce the results of the BSI test into corrosion in central heating systems because for 20 years the chemical inhibitor manufacturers have been saying that softened water is corrosive in central heating systems to aluminium boilers and it's not true and we're now going to tell the world so watch this space. Um, but I, I'm delighted to introduce the second of today's sponsors, uh, Harvey Bowden of Harvey Force Systems. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and any lords that might be present for giving us the opportunity today, and also to the HHIC for providing the forum. <coughs> now, the purpose of my uh, presentation this afternoon is to dispel a myth that's been in our central heating industry for the last 20 years. And that myth has been put about by the chemical inhibitor manufacturers that softened water is corrosive to aluminium heat exchangers. <coughs> And it's not true. Softened water has never been corrosive. It can't be. Now, my name is Harvey Bowden. I'm the founder and chairman of Harvey Water Softeners. We're the largest UK manufacturer of water softeners. We're the largest in Europe. And if anybody should know, um, I should. Let me tell you a very quick story. It's costing a thousand pounds a minute, so listen to me. <laughs> the first domestic water softener was installed in 1916. And for the first 70 years, there was never a question about corrosion because there wasn't any. But during the 1980s, the introduction of condensing boilers introduced aluminium. And they had an awful lot of problems with corrosion. And the reason for that is that the corrosion inhibitors at that time were designed for cast iron. And when mixed with softened water, it caused all sorts of problems. So what happened in 1992... They introduced a British standard for water treatment for central heating systems and they kind of said, well, you can't use softened water in central heating systems. And thus the myth was born. And we've lived with that for the last 20 years. Now in 2006, the British standard was changed and it said, well, you can use softened water, but you've got to use the right chemical inhibitor. But nobody takes any notice. 
And why is that? Well, there is a commercial advantage that if you do get corrosion with an aluminium heat exchanger, it's very easy to blame the softened water. And so we've been the scapegoat um, for the last 20 years for that reason. So a year ago, we commissioned BSI with their UCAS accredited laboratories to run a series of tests to prove that we're innocent, that we don't cause corrosion. And they've now published that report, and they say unequivocally that softened water is not corrosive to aluminium heat exchangers. And copies of that report are available after this um, presentation. We also have available um, Phil Munn from Midland Corrosion Services, who's been the consultant <coughs> to BSI, who can answer any questions. And also Daniel Davis, formerly the technical manager for Fernox Chemical Inhibitors, um, is also available. Now as a result of this confusion in the marketplace, the Energy Saving Trust have withheld the energy saving endorsement for water softeners. And yet we've got a payback period, probably the fastest in the industry, of about five years. So we're hoping that now that we've cleared this up, the Energy Saving Trust will actually go ahead and give water softeners the energy saving endorsement that they deserve. And we also hope that the boiler manufacturers will change their recommendation and come and talk to us about recommending softened water for all central heating installations. So thank you everybody for giving me the opportunity. If you'd like copies of the report, we'll be here um, after the meeting. Thank you. done it. It's taken us since 2004, but we're now starting to win the argument. So thank you for watching. This is the first step of the run, but we will change the industry's attitude towards softened water. We will win. Thank you. So if you are a consumer and you're worried about having soft water in your heating system, please don't. Educate the plumber and the heating engineer by showing him this video and if you're a water softener installer And you find that you do run into this on a day-to-day -day basis and you find it difficult to explain Then again show these videos. I'll put the links on below um, About the BSI corrosion report. So they've got it there in a written format as well but water, soft water does not cause corrosion